Hello, everyone. Are you able to hear me well? Is my voice audible? Is my voice audible? Please let me know in the chat box. Yeah, good evening. Akshita, Vijay, Shahir, Dushan, Ajit, Kelvin. Okay. Yeah, welcome to the class. So today we are going to have uh, one, uh, one test, okay, on business English. And I'm going to give you a wide variety of questions. The first thing you have to do is listening link exercise. The link is already there in the chat box. You have to click on that. This is going to take you uh, to, uh, you know, this is going to open a page when you will click this link. And you have to listen to the audio and then uh, do the exercises accordingly. Is it clear, everyone? Is it clear? What you have to do here? Is it clear? Okay. So let's do the listening link thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Dilshan, Ajit, Kelvin, Khadija. Uh, we are going to do this test now. Okay. Uh, you are going to get wide variety of questions, different kinds of questions. Okay. And uh, first of all, you have to solve this listening link thing. Fine. Am I clear? Just click on both. The, uh, just try to do the first link first, followed by the second link. Fine. So start following the listening link thing. Yeah, please do it. So just start, see you have to do both the things, okay? I have already pasted the link in the chat box, okay? You have to solve both the listening link exercises and then let me know your score and then I'll tell you what has to be done next, okay? So come on, just write it down. I mean just start following it. The time starts now. Please solve it. Oh, okay, so are there any new attendees in class today? Are there any new attendees in class today? Are there any new attendees in class today? Please let me know your name. Khadija, is this your new class? Is this your first class? Okay, so Khadija, welcome to the class. Okay, and I would request you to be regular in class so that you can take the advantage of live classes, all right? And also, uh, you have to, okay, uh, if you are not able to follow anything, you can just ask me in the chat box and you can even raise your hand. Okay. Maria, is this your first class? Okay. And uh, you have to be regular because, you know, if your attendance is affected, then your grades will be affected. 
okay is it clear khadija maria is this your first class okay now let me go from person to person okay but i haven't seen you in my class earlier anyways today we are having a test once in a while i do conduct test so for the first thing you have to do is listening link exercise others are already doing it and mm, i hope you have got the link you have to click on that and it will take you to a you know audio okay you have to listen to that and you have to answer the exercises associated with that okay okay so these are the two listening links which you have to do now fine now uh, okay let me ask you one by one vijay are you doing the listening too vijay are you doing the listening exercise or not please let me know in the chat box so you will be graded for this thing so please let me know once in a while we do have these kinds of tests right so let me know vijay are you solving it or not please let me know Samen, are you solving it? Okay. Khadija, are you solving it? Kelvin, how about you? Maria, Ajit, Dilshan, George, Seher, and Akshita, are you still solving it? So just solve it, and then we'll switch over to the next exercise. Okay. Okay, so just finish it and then I will switch over to the next exercise. Just solve it. Okay, so once you are done, just you have to do both the things. Okay, so once you are done, just type done in the chat box. So I am giving you ten minutes. Just finish both of it. Okay, both the exercises, just the link exercises, and then we are going to switch over. another exercise grammar exercise okay is it clear if you you haven't done it and maria you also do the exercises is it clear maria Uh, Maria, what are you reading? See, it's a listening link exercise. Okay. Khadija, see, you have to click on both the links. First of all, click on the first link. Okay, it will take you uh, to an exercise. Just listen to the audio and then answer the question. Okay. And Khadija, is it sure? I, I, is it clear what you have to do? Khadija. Okay. So please follow me. Dilshan, have you uh, finished both the audio links? Dilshan, have you finished both the stuff? Let me know in the chat box. No, you have to finish both the stuff. Okay. Please finish the second one too. George, are you done with both the stuff? Okay. Just wait for five minutes. Okay. And the next thing you people have to do, I'll tell you. For those who have finished it, okay. Let me give you another exercise. Okay. Now. What you have to do here? This I have already taught you. See, when you add ing to the word, its uh, spelling changes, right? 
so you have to add ing to these okay uh, sometimes you know there is a change in spelling right sometimes you have to remove something in order to add a i right so you have to write the uh, following works with ing form is it clear so those who have already finished both the audio links they can just start doing this one okay Just start doing it, please. Okay, okay. So just do the listening link thing and then switch over to the this thing, work thing. Okay. Okay. Now you can solve the exercise which is there on the board. Okay. For those who are done with listening link, kindly follow the exercise which is there on the board. Okay? Is it clear? Okay. Okay, should I give the grammar quiz now? Should I put the grammar quiz on the board? Okay, your time is over. Okay. Seher, George, Dilshan, Ajit, Tamil, Khadija, Kelvin. Okay. Uh, Maria and Vijay. Are you done with the listening link exercise? Please let me know your score. Fine. Okay, now 
Let's do the grammar exercise. Great. Very good. We are going to do the grammar exercise now. Okay. Now, what you have to do here, I'll tell you. Wait. Just wait for a while. Now you have to do the grammar thing. Okay. Are you able to see the document on the board? It's taking a lot of time. Uh, yeah, it will be there. Okay, just wait for a while. Yeah, it's uploading. It keeps uploading. It has been uploaded. Now it, it is going to come. It is going to come now. Okay. Are you able to see it now? Okay. Just start solving it. See? Not clear. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. It's not that clear, but at mine it's clear. Wait. Okay, you have to do this. Here, what you have to do, uh, you uh, see the words that are there in the bracket. Okay? The words that are there in the bracket. You have to write the adjective or adverb form of that. Okay? Like for example, in the first one, uh, I'll tell you. Or if you want, uh, you know, this is an online quiz. So should I give you the link for the same? Would you like to solve it online? Please let me know if that works for you. Wait. I'm going to do it for you. Okay, so uh, why don't you solve it online? It will be easy for you. And let me know your score. Yeah. So just let's solve it online. This is the um, you know link. Kindly click on this and solve the test, please. Like for the first one, it's developing. Is it clear? Great, Maria. Very good. Very, very good, Maria. Now you have to solve this grammar quiz. Come on, start solving it, everyone. Is it clear? Tamil, did you got the link for the uh, this thing, grammar test? Tamil, Khadija, Kelvin, Maria, Vijay, Ajit, Dilshan, George, Seher and Akshita. So please solve that. I have already taught you this thing, so I just want you to solve it. That's it.
Okay, great, great. So just solve that, and then once you are done, just let me know. Hi, Rishi, how are you? Okay. okay. Rishi, are you there? Is everyone done with the same? Rishi, we are having a test today. So I have given them wide variety of exercises, uh, you know, the exercises which they are solving now. I want you to give the links of the same. I will give you the links of the same. Okay? This is the link for the same. Start solving this. Okay? Rishi, start solving this. This is the link for the exercise that those are solving. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. This time you are being done with the same. Now you have to solve the second grammar exercise. This is the link for the same. For those who are already done with the first exercise, just solve the second exercise for grammar. The link is already there in the chat box. Khadija, are you solving it or not? Khadija, are you solving it or not? And tomorrow I'll be teaching HR itself. Okay? So please be there. Same which we were doing yesterday, communication. Okay, okay. Once you are done with the first exercise, I have already pasted the link for the second one. Whoever is done with the first grammar exercise, switch over to the second grammar exercise, please. Okay, okay. If you are done with the first one, I would request you to do the second one. George, why don't you solve the second exercise for grammar? Is it clear? For those who have solved the first exercise, please solve the second grammar exercise. Who are done with the first exercise, who have already solved it, go to the second one, please. And this, here is the link for the second one. I am pasting it again for your convenience. Okay? And once you are done with the second one too, just let me know. Okay? Is it clear, everyone?
मैं आपसे वंदा हूँ सहज जॉर्ज दिलशान अजीत तमिल खडिजा कैलविन ऋषि मारिया एंड सकील आई यू डन विद द सेकेंड ग्रामर एक्सरसाइज सेवन से जो टू दर्ड थिंग Okay, okay. Just do it. Just do it. Okay. Yeah, just do it, and once you are done uh, with it, just let me just type down in the chat. Okay. Okay, uh, you are done with the second one. Now let's do the vocabulary quiz. I have already taught you just a second, please. Yeah. Okay, for those who have already solved the second one, okay, second grammar quiz. Now let's switch over. Very good, very good. The score is good. Okay, let's switch over to the vocabulary quiz. Okay, I have already taught you confusing words, right? So let's do that. Is it clear? You just solve that, and then we are going to do case study. Yeah, you just solve it, please. I hope you are enjoying this test. See, once in a while we do have these kind of tests. Okay, so I hope you are liking it because you know all through the week lecturing kind of thing doesn't suit well, right? Me always lecturing, you always listening to me. So sometimes you know once in a while um, I ask you to do such kind of things. Okay. Uh, okay. So are you people liking these tests or not? What is your view about this test? Okay, fine, fine. So once in a week, uh, I do ask you to give test. So you should be prepared for it. This is to check your progress. Okay, whether you are whatever I'm teaching, whether you are following that or not.
Okay, okay, fine, fine. Uh, just wait for a while, okay? Let others finish it and then we are going to switch over to the next thing, okay? So just wait for a while, please. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Is everyone done with it? Shall we proceed ahead to the next thing? Everyone out there? Okay. So yesterday under HR management, we were doing, we were learning about human like communication. So what are things we have learned yesterday? Can you just give me in the form, teach, tell me in the form of one liner. Like what are things we have done in yesterday's class on communication? What are things we have covered? What is communication? Who is going to tell me? Please write it down. What are things we have covered yesterday? What are things? Yeah, let me know in the form of one liners. Yeah, let me know, then we'll start, we'll uh, follow from where we left yesterday. We're going to start from there only. What are things we have learned? Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Great. So now let's uh, proceed ahead. We have already covered till here. Now oral communication skills. We have to uh, learn th about this. So please pay heed to the board. Because a large part of managers days is spent, uh, no, this also we have covered, right? Yeah. Now, the drawbacks of verbal communication that uh, we have to learn about, okay? It can be cons inconsistent unless all parties hear the same message, right? So if we are, see, if I'm teaching you something and if the, all the parties are not, uh, you know, uh, ready to accept one, what I am preaching, uh, you know, the purpose of verbal communication will be killed. It will be inconsistent, right? And although oral communication is useful for conveying the viewpoints of others and fostering an openness that encourages people to communicate. It is a weak tool for implementing a policy or issuing directives where many specifics are involved. Here are two of the most important abilities for effective oral communication. See, if you want to be a good speaker, okay, you have to be a good listener, right? Listen, see, if what answer I am expecting from you, you, if you don't listen to my question, how are you going to give me that, even if you know it, right? That is the thing, right? So active listening. Listening is making sense of what is heard and requires paying attention, okay? Interpreting and remembering sound stimuli, fine? Effective listening is active, requiring the hearer to get inside the head of the speaker so as to he or she can understand the communication from the, see, if I am saying something, if you can uh, understand it from my point of view, uh, you know, purpose is sorted out, right? Effective listeners do the following, and what all strategies, uh, like effective listeners follow? They make an eye contact, okay? They schedule sufficient and uninterrupted time for meetings. Genuinely seek information, right? Rather than pretending seeking information. Avoid being emotional or attacking others, okay? Paraphrasing the message you heard, especially to clarify the speaker's intention. Keep silent, okay? 
when someone is speaking don't interrupt in between okay instead just wait for your turn or you can even ask later on otherwise you know uh, there uh, what is going to happen if someone is interrupt uh, if i am speaking and if someone is interrupting again and again what is going to happen i'm going to lose my focus right do not talk to fill pauses or respond to statements in a point count the points fashion ask clarifying questions avoid making distracting gestures okay gestures also has a thousands of stories to tell right so if your gesture is not good and uh, you are so that will have a bad impact on the person who is speaking right so constructive feedback managers often do poor job for providing employees with performance feedback when providing feedback managers should do the following okay so when manager is giving feedback to the people who is who are working under him what all strategies he or she needs to follow focus on specific peer behavior rather than making general statements okay so if i am giving you some mark suppose i am giving george you know rating george he is my team member in that case i have to focus specifically on his behavior right that is i'm making a general statement keep feedback in person and goal oriented and if i am having some personal grudges with someone i am being the manager suppose i am the manager a teammate so i should not bring that thing in feedback thing right it has to be feedback should be in person okay and go along with it okay offer feedback as soon as after the action uh, possible ask questions to ensure understanding of the feedback direct negative feedback towards the behavior that the recipient can control is it clear how to give feedback how one has to give feedback manager should never be biased it feedback should be goal oriented it should be given as soon as the action is being completed and it should be specifically on the person rather than given general statements okay is it clear is it clear everyone shall we proceed ahead all right now written communication skills written communication has several advantages first it provides a record for reference and follow up okay second written communication is an inexpensive means of providing identical messages to see if i have to send message to 1000 people rather than calling them i can just uh, draft one mail and i can send them to all right send it to all right so it's an inexpensive method right and you, it also provides the record if i have forwarded some message to you i will have the record for this thing, right and you will also have it the major limitations of written communication is sender does not know how or if the communication is received unless a reply is required right so if i am sending you mail i just cannot ensure that you will read it right i you might not read it it might go to your spam folder right unfortunately writing skills are often difficult to develop and many individuals have problem writing simple clear and direct documents and believe it it is and believe it or not poorly written documents cost money see if i see if my writing skills are not good i won't be able to convey i want to right how much does a bad writing cost a company annually according to canadian consulting and training firm one employee who writes just one poorly worded memo per week over the course of a year can cost a company 4000 to 58 dollars okay so you should also work on your if see most of you are doing your mba right pb or mba so you should also work on your um, writing skills because you know it ha written ha is also a communication we also communicate in written through emails right so that is a, a mode of non verbal communication is it clear everyone do you have any questions for me anyone out there if you have some questions for me kindly let me know otherwise i'm going to switch over to the next part which is interpersonal communication is it clear so far any questions khadija maria others do you have any questions for me or should i switch over to interpersonal communication or uh, let's talk about interpersonal communication okay let me go to the next part okay i hope you are able to see the board properly everyone out there now 
interpersonal communication is real time face to face or voice to voice conversation okay so what is interpersonal communication real time face to face or voice to voice conversation that allows immediate feedback okay interpersonal communication plays a large role in ma any manager's daily activities especially in organizations that use teams managers must facilitate interpersonal communication within teams and reduce barriers to interpersonal see the advantage of interpersonal communication is like um, if something is not clear to my team members they can ask me face to face right which otherwise becomes impossible in case of you know non verbal communication or email communication right and you can see people body language too you can see their you know uh, like the kind of expressions they are giving so you can understand uh, through that as well whether they are following you or not right so manager a good manager always tries to and see it's not possible for the managers as we have read yesterday to uh, go to each individual personally so he can call the meeting and all of them come can come there right so this is how they can take the advantage of uh, face to face communication and no time will be wasted in visiting each uh, supervisor or uh, team member personally clear is it clear all right so a good managers they always try to re remove barriers when it comes to interpersonal communication common now what are the barriers to interpersonal communication that is the question right <laughs> expectations of familiarity or hearing what one is expected to hear after hearing the beginning comments employees may not listen to the rem reminder of the communication because they think they already know what a manager is going to say see sometimes you know people have got preconceived notions they say they listen to the manager for some time and later on they'll think oh he is going to say this so he they are not going to listen to him right so many employees ignore the complete information that leads to a conflict right many employees ignore information that conflicts with what they know right often referred to as selective perception see selective perception means absorbing what you want to and excluding the rest this is not for the welfare this is not in the welfare of the organization right and not in the welfare of an employee as well because you know unless and until you what you are thinking how can you guarantee that is correct right so just don't info, ignore the information which you think you already know you must be knowing it but what is the harm in listening to it if you are there often referred to as selective perception it is a tendency to single out for attention those aspects of the situation or person that is re enforced or appear consistent with one existing belief see if i have got certain kinds of belief if the manager is saying something which is uh, not the part of those beliefs okay which is anti those beliefs that doesn't mean that i'm not going to listen to him it will you know it won't serve his purpose and you know i won't be able to meet out with my responsibility in that case because i will not hear the complete truth because i am being prejudiced right fair everyone selective perception can bias a manager's and employee's view of situation and people right is it clear Kelvin, Rishi, Shakil, Vijay, Maria, Dilshan, George, Tamil, Khadija, Ajit. Any questions for me? Okay, let's proceed ahead. Now, so this is the barrier to the interpersonal communication. To you, this is forced lack of credibility. Some employees may negatively size up or to evaluate the sender based on stereotypes. The stereotyping is assigning attributes commonly associated with a category such as age, group, race, or gender. to an individual classifying so stereotypes classifying is making assumptions about an indivi individual based on a group he or she fits into right so you know some young people what they do uh, they don't like you know listening to older people right why because they think that oh they are like old generation there is a generation gap they can never talk in our favor they will always talk bullshit right Characteristics commonly associated with the group are then assigned to the individual. Someone who believes that young people dislike authority figures may assume that a younger colleague is rebellious, right? So if it's uh, like if you are putting your boss, manager into some category, if he, he suppose he falls into the if he if he uh, the your manager, reporting manager is a female. In some cases, you know, people have got this view point that being a female, uh, she cannot be that much competent as compared to men. right as some as men so what they do they are level assigned to the lady right so this is like being prejudiced if you are putting her into the category of weak gender okay and because of that you are not listening to it and some you know some people believe that uh, you know 
if you are a manager, if a younger person, okay, and you are older, in that case, you will feel that, oh, he is immature. I have got, um, you know, I'm more experienced. I've got more maturity. So I, uh, he, cannot, he cannot tell the best. So I won't listen to him. So this is a barrier to interpersonal communication. Clear? Is it clear? Okay, wait. Differing perceptions caused by social and cultural background. The process through which people receive and interpret information from the environment is called perception. Perception acts as a screen of filter through which information. See, whatever uh, you know, whatever is present in the environment, we don't see it in that manner. Okay, we filter information as per our perception. We listen what we want want to. Uh, see, if I am fond of gossiping. I will always, my ears will always be stuck on someone's uh, door, right? This is what women do. If I'm fond of, you know, gossiping, if someone is gossiping nearby me, okay? Even if it has nothing to do with my, even if I don't know the person. Suppose I'm traveling in a train and two door, a girl and a boy is gossiping. I mean, they are girlfriends and boyfriends, okay? They are into a relationship or something and um, they are talking. So I will just observe them because uh, I have got that thing, okay? That is my perception. Okay, I am fond of that thing, right? So I will filter out that thing. And others will sit mom. They will say that uh, those people who are not fond of gossiping, they will say why I need to listen to them, these people. I have nothing to do with them, right? So we filter from the environment what we want to, right? The perception acts as a screen or filter. Having your own perception is very good. But you just cannot, you know, when it comes to offices, okay, um, like working in things, you have to listen to others. It's not like you're going to filter and your boss is, your boss is discussing about a certain project, even if you, you might not like some point. But you have to listen to it. You have to pay heed to it because, you know, it's not like uh, if you don't like it, that, has, that should not be there, right? So you should not screen the information. Listen to the whole information and then after that, you decide whether it is applicable uh, to that situation or not. Then filter it, fine? See, we have got different perceptions, so that's why we perceive the same thing or situations very differently, right? And even more important, people behave according to their perceptions. So this is not allowed, this is a barrier to interpersonal communication. And this is not expected in official environment. Fine? Is it clear? George, Dilshan, Ajit, Tamil, Khadija, Kelvin, Rishi, Chiki, Vijay, Maria, is it clear? Great. Uh, semantics and diction. Choice and use of words differ significantly among individuals. A word such as effectiveness may mean achieving high production to a factory superintendent and employ satisfaction to a human resource specialist. Many common words have an average of 20. See, a word can have any definition. It's not like a one word will have just one definition. Okay? So that is also a barrier to communication. I might be saying something and you might be taking it, uh, taking the meaning of the same word as something else. So that is a barrier to the communication, interpersonal communication. Emotions that un interfere with reason. Tempers often interfere with reason and cause the roles of sender and receiver to change to that opponent and adversary. See, if I am angry with someone, okay, whether he is my boss or not, that doesn't matter. I won't listen to him, right? And noise is also a barrier to the interpersonal communication. Noise does not allow for understanding between sender and receiver. So these things are the barriers, okay, prejudices, perceptions, semantic, emotions, okay, negative emotions for someone, okay, to interpersonal communication. And a good manager always tries to have as much as interpersonal communication as he can have with the team members and others in the office. Clear? Any questions on interpersonal communication? After this, we have to do three things under this uh, chapter. That is organizational communication, improving communication, significant communication. Okay. Now, last thing for the day. Uh, whatever I have taught today, do you have any questions from that? Any questions? Anyone out there? If 
you have any questions for me, uh, then please ask me. So tomorrow I'm going to continue with this. Okay. Don't forget to fill the feedback form. I would request you to be regular as well so that you can take advantage of live classes because you know this is some kind of interversal communication rather than just watching the you know recording. Okay. And whatever you feel about the class, just put genuine things in the feedback form. Nothing to worry you. Okay. I take everything positively and even if you are mentioning something negative, if you, then I'll try to improve on that content. Okay? Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Okay. And if you want me to cover something specific in class for that also, you can just fill that in the feedback form. Okay? Thank you so much. See ya. And the class which Kaushik sir was to take earlier, that didn't happen because, you know, Vizvik was not working. His IQ was not working at that time. Okay? So sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care.